following is a national address by Dr. the Most Honorable Hubert A. Minnis, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, on the occasion of Majority Rule Day 2019. My fellow Bahamians, Majority Rule Day is an occasion for a commemoration and for a celebration. We remember the long struggle for human dignity, equality, and social justice, culminating in a new birth of freedom in the Bahamas. We remember our national heroes and the many others who offered their service and sacrifice to create a new and more democratic Bahamas. As I noted last year, Majority Rule Day commemorates the long struggle and the day when the will of the majority of Bahamians was freely expressed in a general election. This defining moment and historic accomplishment does not belong to any one political party or segment of our people. It crosses all boundaries of party, economic class, race, and gender. Majority rule belongs to all Bahamians. We should celebrate this day as one Bahamas, as one people, united in love and service to our Commonwealth. As one writer noted of the history and struggle leading to majority rule, with the advent of political parties came the realization that the status quo could be seriously challenged. For the first time in Bohemian history, there was an organized opposition and a party that stood for the majority of the population. Discrimination of blacks in public places came to an end. Corruption was exposed. A general strike resulted in a wide range of meaningful changes and a new constitution came into effect in 1964. It all culminated with the election of the first majority government on January 10, 1967. In the words of former Governor General Sir Arthur Foulkes, one of those who served in the forefront of the movement for equality and social justice, majority rule removed the last psychological shackles from the minds of many. It shattered false notions of superiority and inferiority. It initiated the fulfillment of the promise of universal access to education. It created the foundation upon which to build a society with opportunity for all. As I also noted last year, as we honor this special day in our history, we must also honor the many men and women who sacrificed and struggled to make this day possible. Through their words, they spoke for those who could not speak for themselves. Through their actions, they gave courage to the fearful. Through their legacy, these patriots serve as an inspiration for the nation, especially for our young children and young people. Because such history is essential to who we are as a people, we must place greater emphasis on teaching history and civics in our schools. We must also honor the Bohemian spirit and those who contribute to the common good, to one of those who sacrificed so much for our country, we will complete the development of the National Heroes Park. We are also redeveloping the Southern Recreation Grounds in New Providence, the site of many of the rallies and meetings which played an essential role in the struggle. We will also honor our heroes through murals and other public arts, like we recently did with the late Edmund Moxie, the founder of Jumbe Village and one of the members of the first majority rule government. I am pleased 
that we renamed the Big Pond Youth Center in honor of Edmund Moxie. Fellow Bahamians, despite our many challenges as a country over the decades and today, we have so much to celebrate as a people. We have a vibrant, stable democracy and the rule of law. We have made extraordinary economic strides, notably in tourism, our leading sector, which still holds tremendous untapped potential. Bahamians have excelled in education, business, culture, the arts, athletics, religious and civic life. From primary school to tertiary education, many thousands of Bahamians have excelled, becoming professionals in many fields. We have a dedicated and professional public service, which continues to play a defining role in national development. We continue to make strides in social development, yet there is still much to be done in healthcare, education, housing, crime, crime prevention, youth development, the revitalization of the over the hill and in other areas. Majority Rule Day honors the spirit and courage of the modern founders of our nation. It serves as an important example of what Bahamians can achieve as a people committed to equality, freedom, and democracy. Let us celebrate this day as one people with a shared history and a shared future. One of the better ways to commemorate and to celebrate majority rule is by developing a greater commitment to the common good and by building on what we have already achieved as one people. Thank you, and may God bless the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. The proceeding was a national address by Dr. the Most Honorable Hubert A. Minnis, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, on the occasion of Majority Rule Day 2019.